Hello friends. So to start with the next lecture that is preparation of uh, common reagent that is uh, very common reagent that is TE buffer plus CDJ buffer. So friends, I will discuss this one kind of buffer and you will learn how to make many more other buffers. So this twist buffer, uh, you can get this twist buffer of different concentration and with different pH. So how to make this twist buffer? So TE buffer has two component. One is your press base and the other component is your EGTA right so trace base you have to adjust its pH to uh, either pH 8 or pH 7 like that and for EGTA you need to set the pH of 8 in molecular laboratory pH 8 of trace base and pH of 8 in EGTA and that will reconstitute to TE buffer. So this TE buffer of pH 8 is utilized in the molecular laboratory and it is used for DNA extraction, plasmids and many more other. So this is all about pH but how much concentration? So the concentration is the trace is 10 millimolar and EGT is either 0.1 millimolar or 0.2 2 millimolar so you will you accordingly whatever your requirement you can either prepare te buffer of uh, 10 millimolar trace 0.1 millimolar edt or trace 10 millimolar edt 0.2 millimolar so both are used in the molecular laboratory so one by one we will see how to prepare trace buffer first uh, with the uh, trace buffer of pH 8 of pH 8 so uh, you know that this trace base in market you will get trace base powder form with molecular weight 121.14 gram per mole so this molecular weight of trace you have to purchase from the company and then this trace is in powder and uh, powder uh, this is a trace base is uh, powder form so accordingly you have to weight you have to calculate how much molar but whenever you are working in molecular laboratory it's better it's better to have uh, stocks of uh, higher molarity so here we learn trace will prepare trace one molar trace buffer of pH 8 so what we'll do, we will prepare stock solution of trace base and of 1 molar and with pH of 8. Now once you will adjust its pH, the trace base is converted to trace buffer. So trace CN buffer. So, so how to make? So this is very simple calculation to make 1 molar with pH 8. How much? So this is very simple 121.4 gram if you dissolve in 1000 ml of water this will gives you one molar solution and how much we need we need one molar solution of tris so how much 121.14 gram if you dissolve in 1000 ml you will get one molar solution so if you are preparing 100 ml solution, 1 molar, ka apne kitna 100 ml. So, if you want to have 100, then 100 ml of water if you add, then you have to add 12.114 gram of trace to 100 ml, then you have 1 molar solution. And this is your stock. So, for this 1 molar solution, you have to adjust the pH. You have to adjust the pH 8. So, how you will do? You just dissolve 12.144 gram in 50 ml of water. Kitne mein dissolve karna hai usko humne? 50 ml of water mein usko humne dissolve kar dena. Aur ab uske baad humne kya karna hai usme? Concentrated HCl ki help se, we'll add concentrated HCl drop by drop and we'll adjust the pH to 8. The trace base has higher pH uh, that is around 10.9 or 10.5 something around this base ka pH hota hai. So we have to reduce the pH to bring down the pH to 8. So how we will do? We have to add 6 normal HCl 
सिक्स नॉर्मल एच सी एल का ड्रॉप बाई ड्रॉप यू हैव टू एड इन दिस एंड यू हैव टू एडजस्ट द पी एच विद पी एच विद एट रिमेंबर दैट देर आर वेरी फ्यू इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट वाई यू आर सेटिंग योर पी एच वंस यू आर वे यू हैव मेशर ट्वेल्व पॉइंट वन वन फोर ग्राम देन यू हैव डिजोल्व इन फिफ्टी एम एल ऑफ वॉटर एंड नाउ यू हैव सिक्स यू हैव टू टेक सिक्स नॉर्मल एच सी एल एंड यू हैव टू एड ड्रॉप बाई ड्रॉप ऑफ दिस एच सी एल टू दिस सोल्यूशन आपने एक एक ड्रॉप करके डालना है अब क्या होगा अगर आपने इसका इकट्ठे डाल दिया वन एम एल टू एम एल सो वॉट विल हैपन द पी एच विल सडनली गो डाउन बिलो एट आपको जितना पी एच चाहिए उस पी एच से वो एकदम से नीचे चला जाएगा देन दैट सोल्यूशन इज नॉट ऑफ एनी यूज सो आपके वो किसी काम नहीं आएगा सो so, हम क्या करेंगे कुछ लोग क्या करते हैं एन यू एच एड करके पी एच को बढ़ाते हैं बट दैट इज नॉट अ करेक्ट आइडिया द आइडिया इज और द बेसिक बेसिक इज यू हैव टू एड एच सी एल ड्रॉप बाई ड्रॉप टू द ट्रेस सोल्यूशन आप उसमें ड्रॉप बाई ड्रॉप उसमें एड करते जाएंगे और अपना बीच बीच में उसका पी एच जो है वो चेक करते जाएंगे आप उसमें एज यू एज यू एड एच सी एल ड्रॉप टू द सोल्यूशन यू हैव टू वेट फॉर सम टाइम अदरवाइज क्या होगा अगर आप वेट नहीं करोगे क्या होगा आपने पी एच चेक करोगे आपका पी एच एकदम से वो डाउन दिखाएगा आपको एच सी एल की ड्रॉप्स डालनी है विद ग्लास रॉड एंड देन यू हैव टू मेक्स इट प्रॉपरली लेट इट सेटल डाउन फॉर सम टाइम फॉर फ्यू सेकेंड और मे बी वन टू मिनट एंड देन चेक द पी एच और आप उसको पी एच चेक करेंगे वेन द पी एच इज वेरी क्लोज टू एट When the pH of solution is very close to eight, that time what you have to do, you have to give some one or two hours, or maybe, or you can give even overnight. You can keep this solution overnight, and if you keep this solution for one two hour, the pH will be, uh, uh, it it will be uniformly distributed. The ions will be uniformly distributed to the solution, and you will get correct. And once the your pH is close is Eight, then you just add remaining volume. You just make out the volume to hundred mL, right? So, आपके पास ट्रेस बेस का कितना मोलारिटी का सॉल्यूशन बन गया? Stock pH eight का ट्रेस बेस you have now one molar solution. कितना बना आपके पास? अब बेस नहीं रहा वो क्या बन गया? Tris Cl और ये जो बफर है pH इसका एक सेट हो चुका है और इसका मोलारिटी है one molar. This is your one stock. So now we'll go with the second component. The second component is your EGTA. The second component is your EGTA. So EGTA, EGTA का molecular weight कितना आता है? कौन सा molecular weight का आपको EGTA purchase करना है? That is disodium EGTA and its weight is molecular weight is 372 grams. A close to 372 grams. 372.21 grams like that. So you have to purchase of this molecular weight. जब आपने 372 बना दिया, so EGTA का जो stock है, वो आप 0.5 molar से ऊपर नहीं बना सकते। It is very difficult to dissolve EGTA more more concentration more than 0.5 molar. And 0.5 molar is sufficient to make uh, the uh, uh, your stock. So how to make 0.5 molar? So you what you will do? You will add two seventy two point two grams in thousand mL, thousand mL, and this is one molar. So if you want to make hundred mL and one molar, now you have to dissolve thirty seven point two two one gram. Right? If you dissolve thirty seven point two two gram in hundred mL, it will give you one molar stock solution. But one molar is very difficult to prepare. So how? What you will do? You will prepare 0.5 molar now and 100 ml volume same. So you have to divide with the uh, with the two. So that is around 18.61 gram. If you dissolve in 100 ml, you will get 0.5 molar solution of EGTA. The problem with the EGTA solution is that. EGTA will not dissolve till the pH of EGTA is not eight, right? जब तक EGTA का pH eight नहीं पहुंचेगा, it will not dissolve. So what you have to add? You have to add NUH pellets. 
or you can make one normal or five normal NUH solution. So better is to take NUH pellets and you just add small small pellet to the solution. You just take 18.61 gram of EDTA, add 50, 50 ml of water and to that water you just add NUH pellet, small small NUH pellet and keep that flask or beaker or the uh, reagent containing bottle on the magnetic stirrer. A magnetic stirrer ke upar rakhiye, magnetic stirrer usko ghumata rahega and it will rotate and it will, uh, then you have to add NUH pellet. Once the pH is huge and in, in between, you just check the pH also. The Once the pH is 8 of EDTA solution, all the particles, a single single particle of EDTA uh, salt it will dissolve in the water now you have stock of 0.5 molar EGT ठीक है अब pH 8 का stock भी आपके पास बन गया pH 8 का ठीक है you have two stocks EGT and trace so आपके पास pH 8 pH 8 का stock बना 0.5 molar का. Now you have two stocks. You can autoplate these stocks after uh, once you have uh, uh, made 100 ml of trace CL stock and EDTA stock, you just preserve your stocks at 4 degree. आप उसको 4 degree में रखिए और आप उसको काफी लंबे time तक you can use as a stock. So once you have stock, now you have to make trace. You have to make trace 10 millimolar trace from this stock and Prisian and uh, EDTA you have to make other 0.1 millimolar or 0.2 millimolar from this solution. So rest you have to add your water to the solution to make the volume and you can make TE buffer TE buffer for DNA illusion for primary reconstitution or for RNA isolation at many places in the molecular laboratory this TE buffer is used. So this with this we can prepare TE buffer and like that many other salts you can make. It's very very simple calculation you can use and you can ask. If you have any queries or doubt in the preparation of this TE buffer you can ask me you can write to me and uh, remember that once you have prepared your TE buffer, you just uh, get it autoplate. It is possible to autoplate all the even stock and working solutions of TE buffer. So you just get it autoplate and preserve at 4 degree for a long time. So this is all about your trace buffer, TE buffer. So once if you have any queries regarding calculation part, you can ask me. Thank you.